Hi, I'm Mark Thompson. I'm a photographer and I just want to talk about my story, why I chose Hasselblad for photography and why I print pictures so big. Well, they're beautiful, I love them. I'm going to walk you through some of the printing process, how I mount and frame the pictures, but it's more about the story. It's the story of what we do in our lives, the choices we make, the dreams we follow. And that's really what I want to talk about. Recently we were in Brazil. I was shooting with the Hasselblad, of course, and took a photo of this tree growing outside of a church in Parity. It's um, a beautiful historic town. What I've discovered over the years is the mixture of the files off the Hasselblad and the Hannah Mueller fine art cotton rag, just, it just delivers an amazing image. And I'm going to give you a close-up of some of the detail in this photo. This photo is uh, 44 inches by 67 inches, so it's quite big. So this is a tight shot on some of the leaves just at the base of the tree. And I'll show you shortly the process of putting onto a mounting board and sticking the frame on. Well, this is what I do in my garage. I've just printed a photo, I'm going to mount it on this um, ultra board, and then I'm going to frame it, show you the process. So. Um, because it's fun and it's so good to see photos on paper. All I've done here is um, peel back the front edge of the ultra board and then I move the um, image into position and I've got it covered and this just helps me keep my fingers off the photo. This is just a window cleaning cloth and it's just a more gentle spread of pressure. The ultra board is not super adhesive, but you don't get any second chances either. Um, the cotton rag tends to tear apart if you peel it off. Uh, photo paper you can peel back if you're quick about it and you've got too much pressure. But basically it's um, a medium adhesive, but you've only got one chance. I've just added a cardboard tube under the picture so it gives me an elevation on the paper so I don't get air bubbles. Um, it, I can roll it in easier. And if you keep a light touch, you can feel for air bubbles if they happen, because you've got to get onto that straight away. And that is how it's done. Let's have a look. It's all laid out nicely. I didn't feel any air bubbles. I inspect it. It looks good. So I'm going to bring the original peel back on top of the picture again, and then I can put it into the knife and we can cut it up. So this part of the operation revolves around the knife. I've got the keen cut um, evolution. It's uh, 104 inches long, so it's big enough for these 96 inch sheets. It's a pretty cool knife. You can't cut yourself and you make beautiful straight cuts. Um, just out of sight here I've got a little product table and that just helps support the picture while I'm manipulating it through the knife. So let's get started. Here we go. So I've got a little edge to cut off here. One of these things, you have to check everything twice. So I've got a nice clean edge here. The first one's always the easiest. And um, nice clean cut. This time I can't peel the paper back, so I've just made some marks at the edge of the picture. This um, off-cut, of course, is good for a smaller print. And so now, the photo is starting to take shape. At this point, we can bring over the frame. To keep it tidy, 
bit of tape around the edges that holds um, the frame and the photo nice and straight. There's no warping and twisting. And so that's the taping process, just the four edges. Later on, I'll put a wooden frame in the middle here, and that's where we put the hooks. And it also gives it a little bit of weight to hold its CD against the wall. Because at the moment, it's a very light piece of art. So this is what goes on in my garage. I like to do it sort of as large as I can, as lifelike as possible. This tree was obviously a little bit bigger. It's pretty close to reality. And the detail, well, you have to come and see it. As we progress through all these stories, I'm going to show you the um, process of making frames and setting up a printer for different profiles, how to use the camera, how to edit and focus, why the camera draws me to the outdoors. And that's the real key of this whole thing. I love the outdoors, I love the beauty of this planet, and this is just a fantastic way to record it and remember it and look back on these places with just true to life imagery and that's the story.